We're going to continue with the advanced spreadsheet functions for grade 12 CAPS, or the CAT syllabus, or the CAT subject. Uh, we, in the previous video, did 11, or the first two questions, sorry, number one and number two. Um, we're now going to do the rest of them, and this has to do with string functions or handling of text and stuff like that. So let's start. Number three, we need to create a file code over here, and that's what the first file code must look like. So it's an RCA, then a dollar, then ES, then two, and they tell us how to create it. And we must create file codes for everyone. So I'm going to put equals to. What's the first thing that we need? We're going to construct a string, which means we're going to create a string. So I need the last three characters of the country. So I need the last three that are CA. So I'm copying from the right-hand side. So that's why I'm going to use the right function. And it tells me I'm copying from the right. Which text am I copying from? I'm copying from that cell, comma, how many characters? Well, we want the last three. So we're only going to copy the last three characters. I close the brackets, I press enter just to check what it looks like. There we go, it'll be on the right track. Then after that we must put a dollar sign. So to add a dollar sign onto a string, we use the ampersand, or some people call it concatenate, but it looks like that little and symbol. There we go. It's above the seven on your keyboard. You press, press shift and seven. So you put that down whenever you want to add strings on top to each other. So basically, do it like you say. You want the last three characters and the dollar sign. Now, I shouldn't just write dollar because I want you to write the dollar just like it is. Because So we need to put it in double quotes. So the dollar is in double quotes. So I want the, right, the last three from the right and the dollar sign. There we go. Then, on top of that, we want to put the second and third characters. So again, I want to put it on top of this. So add it on. So and it concatenated so and I want the second and third characters now to get the second and third characters of the area I cannot use the left function because that means I'm going to end up getting that D I cannot use the right function because I'm going to end up getting the S and this uh, the H and the C in it I just want from those two those two in the middle there I said the word middle so I'm gonna start from the mid from the middle of the text which text must I get from from this text. Where am I starting from? Well, I want the second and third characters, so I'm starting from position two, from the second character. Now, how many characters do I want? Now, a lot of people go, well, second and third, so we go two comma three, but that is incorrect. That is saying, starting at number two, we want three letters. That'll be ESP. I don't want the P, I just want the E and the S. So I'm starting at position two, and I want only two characters. I want the second and the third one. Close brackets. There we go. And then at the end of that we must just add the number of observers. We must just add that number onto the back of the string. So I'm going to and the number of observers. So there we go. It looks exactly like it should look. It's the right th from the last three from the right and the dollar and from the middle for two starting at position two for two characters and the number of observers easy now in question four they want us to change that whole thing to uppercase well just go to your formula and we put in the word upper now we put it in just before the equal to sign so I say upper not just before just after the equal to sign sorry upper so it uppers and I want to make everything uppercase so I'm going to just open the brackets and then right at the end I'm going to close the brackets and that will make everything between those two brackets into uppercase. There we go. Fantastic. Next thing, we want name tags and we do need to know how many characters are in the file code because some of them have different lengths. The answer should be seven so I'm just going to go well I need to find the length of all or the number of characters which is the length or len, the len function. And which text do we want to find the length of? That one. That's it. And this is one of the, the only two functions that we really use with strings or with text that return numbers is the len function, which returns the length, and the find, which we'll use later. So there's seven characters there, and you just copy that down. There we go. Oh, we're going to use the find right now. This question, we want to add a function to locate the position of the at sign. I don't know where it is. I need to find where it is. 
so that's telling me that I want to find the position so I'm gonna say equals and in this case we're going to use the find function okay the find function needs three things what am I looking for I'm looking for the at, the, the at symbol so double quote at double quote so I'm looking for that at symbol I put a comma where am I looking for this information well I'm looking for it I'm looking for it in this cell and where am I going to start looking for it? Well, I'm going to start from position 1, and hopefully I'll find it from then on. Okay, if I want to start looking for it later, then I could have a different number. But in this case, we're always going to start from position 1. So I'm just going to put a 1. So find the at symbol in R2 starting from position 1. And it tells me it's at position 12. Copy that down. There we go. This one is very similar to one we've done. We need to find out how many characters are there in the email address. In other words, what is the length of the email address, which means we have to use the len function. Length of the email, open or close brackets, there we go. Easy. And then last but not least, we've got these two. Now this is where it gets a bit tricky. We need to extract the username and the domain. The username is the stuff in front of the at symbol, and the domain is the stuff at the back of the at symbol. So to get the username, I'm basically going to copy from the left-hand side up until the at symbol. Now you could just go equals left of this cell, comma. Now how many characters must I copy? Well, this is the problem. For each of these, do you see that the value is slightly different? There could be a different number of characters before this one. It's not going to be the same as before this one, because this one, for example, has got six, and this one has got 7 and this one has got 11 so each one has a different number so basically I want to copy from the left till the position of the at symbol so if I I've already worked out where the at symbol is now if I put it in as the number of characters we should get an answer but it's not going to be exactly what I want if I go equal to there you see, it does copy the first 12 characters, but I actually don't want that at symbol. I want the first 12 characters, but go back one. And the same in this case. I want up until that at symbol, but then I want to go back one. So in each case, I actually do want to go to where J2 is. The only difference is I want to go to J2 minus 1. In other words, copy from the left for 12 characters minus 1 or 10 characters minus 1 so for the whole string up until the at symbol but just go back one and that way we can get the username just by itself so there's our usernames now the domain that's that is what is ever is after the at symbol now there are two ways of doing it um, I'm gonna do the more difficult way first and then I'm gonna do a, a, like a cheating way of doing it makes your life a little bit easier okay first of all let's have a look over here we want to copy just the part that's after the at symbol so I'm copying basically from the right so I'm gonna go equals right okay which text am I copying from well I'm copying from this cell now I need to know how many characters am I copying from the right well in this case it's gonna be one two three it looks like it's about 10 characters over here. In this case, it's about 13. So I need to work out how do I get that number. Well, over here we've got the basic the, the email address, and we know that for that email address, you'll see that the at symbol over here is at position 12. Okay, I can't draw very nicely with a mouse, but you'll just have to bear with me. So from there to there is 12. And we've worked out the length of the email, and we've said that the length of the email is 22. So the whole thing over there is 22. Yo, oh, I'll write badly with this. Okay, so there is 22. So if the whole thing is 22, and from there to there is 12, then obviously what's left over will be what's the domain. So it'll be the 22 minus the 12 and that will give me what's left over how many characters I must copy from here so 22 minus 12 will be 10 so it'll be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
8, 9, 10. So it works. So let's try to do that. So I'm going to copy from the length of the whole email. So I've got the number of characters is the length of the whole email minus where the at symbol is. Because that's what's left over after the at symbol. And there we go. It works. Okay. Well, let me show you the other way. I'm actually going to do it on the side here so you can see that it also gives the same answer. The other way that you could do it is I'm going to use the mid. And that copies from the middle. So it asks, which text are we copying? Well, I'm copying the email text. Where are we starting? Well, we know that the at symbol is at position 12. We always want to start at the position after the at symbol. Every single time, it'll be the position after the at symbol. So I select the at symbol's position, and I plus 1 to it. Now this, this way that I'm doing now works only if what we're looking for is at the end of the text. There's nothing else in between. It's not in the middle. So I want from there and I want the rest of the text. Now I, don't, I want the whole of it. Whatever's after the at symbol, I want all of it. Now I don't know how long that's going to be. We worked it out that it was 10. It could be different. So the number of characters, I'm going to make an extremely large number so that it covers for all possible cases. Now it's very unlikely that we would have an email address domain that is longer than 100 characters. So I'm just going to say copy from the email address starting at the position of the at symbol plus 1 and copy for 100. Now the first one doesn't have 100 characters, but it will copy what it can of those 100. So I'm just going to type 100. You could type 1,000 if you wanted to. I'm just going to say, so that. Copy 100 characters after the at symbol. And there we go. It should work for every possible case. Okay, so that's your string functions. Remembering the, the two main types of questions that they can ask you is either, either to construct a string where you've got that and symbol that will concatenate and you and different parts together. And the other type of question they can ask is when they, are, they give you a string and, or text and they ask you to extract parts of it. And then you will need to find the position of certain things, the length of certain things, and do some sort of calculations.